Hey guys, how are you all doing? I think you guys can tell that something looks a bit different, right? Well, it is because I've got a new vlog setup. I'm not using my Canon M50 anymore. In fact, the I think you can see it. The Canon M50 is there. It's now my webcam. And yeah, I've been looking for some alternatives for vlogging and trying out something new. So now I'm using the GoPro Hero 8. I chose the GoPro because of HyperSmooth 2.0. It's insanely amazing. I'll test that out today or maybe tomorrow. We'll do some walking. But yeah, I really want better smooth footage for my vlogs. But the problem with the GoPro is that I can't see what I'm recording most of the time. But the field of view is so wide where if I position it well and you know after time using this for some time, I should be able to get the framing right. I think, I think I'm in frame. If not, this will be a, a real trouble to edit. And my other concern with using the GoPro for vlogging is that the image quality. I tested with the 1080p settings and it was so low res and grainy. After watching a couple of videos and tweaking the settings, I'm now running at 2.7K, 24 frames in linear mode. So I don't like that white fish eye effect kind of thing. I want it to look normal. Okay, so let me use this mirror here to show you the setup. Okay. So up here we have the Rode Wireless Go and this this metal housing here is the whole Ulanzi G85 case. It's a it's an amazing vlog case. There's also another cool shoe mount here. So in front here, I've got a UV filter because the GoPro for some reason the lens is not replaceable. So if you break it, it's it's an expensive thing to fix. I've got the unnecessarily expensive and massive what's this thing microphone adapter it's yeah I, I don't understand it and my usual manfrotto tripod i like the setup it's compact so that's pretty much the intro for this video i'm gonna be testing this out uh today and tomorrow i'll be going out a bit tomorrow and yeah let's see how it goes i'll only be able to tell if i like the footage or not when i edit it and if 2.7K doesn't work, then we might need to bump it up to 4K. I hope this works. I invested a lot in this. I bought everything myself, by the way. No sponsors at all. So I'll see you guys when I do something else, which I, I'm going to be streaming soon. Some games. So I'll get back to you when I start streaming. See you guys. A few moments later. All right, guys. So I'm about to stream right now. And I just wanted to share with you guys my setup. Up top, we have the Canon M50, so that was the vlogging camera before I switched to this and it's now an excellent webcam, beautiful, beautiful face cam. And in front of me, my main gaming monitor is a 27-inch curve monitor from AOC. On the right, I have my streaming software which is OBS, so I monitor live video from here and see the updates. And oh, I also got the iPad on my left. This allows me to view the chats coming in. I know that most people will do both here, but this is a very low res monitor, so it doesn't look nice. So I'll probably upgrade this in the future, but not something urgent right now. And last but not least, other than the keyboard and mouse, is the Stream Deck. This is such a handy piece of hardware where if you're streaming, especially if you're streaming, that's why it's called the Stream Deck, you can set macros to it to control your stream and make everything look so professional so I can change the display, run some animations. It's absolutely amazing. So that's pretty much it for my streaming setup. I'm going to start streaming right now and I'll see you guys either later or tomorrow when I go out and we will test this GoPro even more. See you guys. Hey guys, it's midnight right now and I have a quick update. So as you can tell, I have not showered yet. I stream, I ran, I had dinner and now I'm editing the videos which is why I need to do this update because we have a slight problem. So like I said, I'm editing the videos right now and so far I've only recorded three videos, three short clips and the total for the three clips is 4.3 gigabytes. Now <laughs> that is actually quite a lot for just three clips and usually when I travel or do vlogs I record so many clips so now I'm in a dilemma I'm fine with the footage for 2.7k 
you can see that it looks fine. I mean, I think the colors are a bit wrong from the GoPro lens, but with a bit of color correcting, it looks quite okay. I'm going to try this from the next clip onwards, which is most likely tomorrow. The resolution is going to be recorded in 1080p and I'm going to maintain the frames at 24 frames per second and I hope the footage is still alright. I just don't want it to look so low res compared to the 1080p from the mirrorless camera. So yeah, that's pretty much my update. Uh, I just got a slight concern on the storage because at this rate it will make <laughs> all my storage dry completely. Anyway, it will be great if you guys can tell me a difference because from the next clip, 1080p. Everything you see now and before, 2.4K. But everything is going to be outputted to... Outputted? Going to be output at a 1080p project. Thank you guys for staying for this update. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Morning guys, it is now 9.41 and we're starting the day right with Village Park Nasi Lemak, the best. Just to remind you guys, this video is going to be shot in 1080p, 24 frames per second. So let me know if you guys realize anything different. And also this is a good test of HyperSmooth 2.0. So I'm walking, walking, and I hope it's stable because that's the main reason I invested into this setup. Right, I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so I just reached at one Utama. I'm gonna go get some stuff done. And then I'm gonna have lunch with Alex. So I'll see you guys when we have lunch. Hopefully there's some nice footage I can take with the GoPro. Okay, so we have a pepperoni pizza here and... Actually, I don't know what you ordered. What's this? Hawaiian something. Hawaiian. You don't remember? But yours looks extra Aloha cheesy chicken. though. Aloha chicken. Yours looks extra cheesy. Mm. Okay, let's eat. Hi guys, so we are now at Catzonia. This is the first time Husky is going to this outlet. Usually we go to Damansara. But Damansara was full, Sha'alam was full, so the next one was Wangsa Maju. Really far, 40 plus minutes away, but I only trust them with my cat. And speaking of Husky, he is really, really unhappy. Just look at him. He's been in this position the whole, the whole 40 minute drive and he's so sad. He doesn't like change, but He's okay with this, I mean Catzonia. Let's give him a few hours, but he doesn't like the process of going to Catzonia. Just look at that, look how much he sheds when he's under stress. Okay boy, let's get you inside. I'm gonna settle Husky because he needs a bit of attention right now. And I'll see you guys when I get back home, I guess. Right, see ya. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for today. Now I'm gonna go pack my clothes. And then we gotta leave to my parents' house, stay over for Raya. And then we're gonna go to Ipoh this weekend. Just a short vlog, I just wanted to see how things goes. I'll see you guys for the next vlog in Ipoh. Bye!